Hello, Nari McDiamond for Mining Journal and MiningNews.net, and it's great to be speaking again with Rowena Smith, Managing Director and Chief Executive at Australian Strategic Materials, and we're discussing progress as the company moves to meet rising demand in the critical minerals sector. And Rowena, I've heard you describe it as a golden age for critical minerals. So what do you think is driving this interest and the discourse? Well, it is the golden age for critical minerals because they are an essential component of the technologies that are needed for the clean energy transition. That's um, driving an enormous increase in demand over the coming decades. And that's, I think, driving most of the interest in these opportunities. But I, I think the recent COVID experience also really helped to focus on the importance of diversity in your supply chains and local production. So I I think that there is also, in addition to just increasing supply for these materials, there's a very strong focus on developing alternative supply chains that can supplement the existing supply chain. We're seeing governments in Australia, but also the US, in Korea, in the UK, in Germany, in Japan, in Canada, all very focused on what policy and funding they can provide to incentivise the development of these supply chains in their jurisdictions. Well, you mentioned quite a few jurisdictions there, Rowena. Where are you seeing the most progress and how could this potentially benefit ASM? Well, you know, the the Minister for Resources, Madeleine King, sh- she often says that the road to net zero runs through the resources industry. And I think the Australian government has been very strong in understanding that this is both an opportunity for Australia, uh, but also uh, an essential role for Australia to play with its allied partners partners. So the US in particular, I think the Australian government have made real progress on building those policy alliances. And uh, we are definitely seeing opportunities for ASM through those new US policies that are being made available to us. We can see that with the US Export Import Finance uh, Bank, but also the Inflation Reduction Act, the CHIPS Act, and then also the Defence Protection Act that has just been extended recently to include Australia as a domestic supplier. So we're in conversations with all of those parties at the moment and exploring what that allows for us at ASM. Golden age indeed. Rowena, it's been great to speak with you. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much, Nari.